12 psychological tricks that can make anyone fall for you instantly. Most friendships begin in such a natural way that you are unaware of how or when they began. However, there are occasions when you wish to make an effort to acquire a new acquaintance or improve your friendship with existing friends. You can appear more likable by using methods and strategies like mirroring, subliminal touching, smiling, and letting the other person talk about themselves. We filtered through psychological studies on the psychology of attraction for ways to make others like you. Twelve, imitate them. This technique is known as mirroring, and it entails carefully imitating the other person's actions. Try and imitate someone's body language, gestures, and facial emotions when speaking with them. The chameleon effect, which occurs when people instinctively replicate each other's behavior and increases liking, was reported by New York University researchers in 1999. The researchers had 78 men and women work on a task with a partner who was actually a researcher's confederate. While researchers secretly videotaped the exchanges, the partners engaged in various levels of mimicking. The researchers had participants rate how much they loved their companions at the end of the engagement. When their partner mimicked their conduct, people were more likely to indicate they loved them. 11. Spend more time in their company. People like things that are familiar to them, according to the mere exposure effect. This phenomena was first identified in the 1950s by MIT researchers, who determined that college students who lived in housing buildings together were more likely to be friends than students who lived further away. This can be due to the fact that students who live close by have more passive, day-to-day -day encounters with one another, such as greeting each other in the common area or kitchen. Those interactions can turn into complete friendships under specific conditions. Four ladies posed as students in a university psychology seminar for psychologists at the University of Pittsburgh. Each woman attended class on a different number of occasions. When male students were shown images of the four women, they exhibited a stronger affection for the ladies they'd seen more frequently in class, despite the fact that they hadn't interacted with any of them. These data, taken together, demonstrate that merely spending more time with individuals can increase their liking for you. Even if you don't live near your colleagues, try to maintain a consistent schedule with them, such as meeting for Starbucks once a week or going to study together. 10. Don't hold back those compliments. People will identify your personality with the adjectives you choose to describe other people. Spontaneous trait transference is the term for this phenomenon. This effect was shown in one study even when participants were aware that particular features described the persons who had spoken about them. According to Gretchen Rubin, author of The Happiness Project, what do you say about other people affects how people regard you. People will link you with those qualities if you describe someone else as genuine and kind. The converse is also true, if you frequently criticize others behind their backs, your friends will begin to identify your negative characteristics with you. 9. Make a point of emphasizing your shared values. People are more drawn to persons who are similar to them, according to a famous research by Theodore Newcomb, the similarity attraction effect. Newcomb's experiment involved assessing his subjects' attitudes toward sensitive topics like sex and politics before placing them in a University of Michigan-owned residence to live together. When the individuals had similar sentiments regarding the items that were measured, they loved their housemates more by the conclusion of their stay. If you want to make friends with someone, Look for a point of similarity between you and emphasize it. 8. Share a secret with them. One of the most effective relationship-building tactics is self-disclosure. College students were partnered up and advised to spend four to five minutes getting to know one other better in a study led by Arthur Aaron at Stony Brook University. Experimenters gave some student couples a series of questions to ask, which became more personal and in-depth as time went on. How do you feel about your relationship with your mother? was one of the intermediate questions, for example. Small talk questions were supplied to the other pairs. One query was, which holiday is your personal favorite? Why? Those who had asked progressively intimate questions reported feeling significantly closer to one another at the end of the trial than students who had engaged in small talk. You can use this strategy when getting to know someone next time. You might start by asking them about their most recent vacation and work your way up to learning what means the world to them and gets them going in life. 
When you learn personal details about someone, they are more likely to feel connected to you and wish to trust in you in the future. 7. Show a great sense of humor. According to research from Illinois State University and California State University at Los Angeles discovered, having a sense of humor was extremely crucial, regardless of whether respondents were thinking about their ideal friend or romantic partner. Meanwhile, lacking a sense of humor, particularly at work, may backfire. A survey of 140 Chinese workers aged 26 to 35 indicated that those who were morally focused were less highly liked and popular among their coworkers. That is, they valued showing compassion, fairness, and other moral qualities highly. The reason for this, according to the researchers, is that morally focused persons are viewed as less amusing by their coworkers. 6. Be constantly agreeable. Do you want people to agree with your point of view? All you have to do is start nodding while expressing whatever it is you want the other person to agree with. The motion of nodding causes the individual to believe what you're saying is true, and as a result, they will most likely nod in agreement with you. This can be useful in some cases where you need to make a strong first impression. 5. Be selfish every now and then. It may seem contradictory, but focusing on yourself is one of the finest ways to encourage someone to appreciate you. This does not imply that you are narcissistic or self-centered. Rather, it implies that you are confident and secure in your own skin. People naturally want to be around you when you're confident because they feel good when they're with someone who is enjoyable to be around. So what happens when you don't feel secure or confident? Try asking yourself these questions if you want someone to like you. What do I have to offer? What am I looking for in them? What do they have high hopes for me? If you answer those questions honestly, you'll be able to figure out what they want immediately. Once you've found it out, give them something useful in exchange for their time and assistance. People who feel useful like themselves and are more likely to offer something in return, such as love and loyalty. 4. Be accessible at first then play hard to get. It's an art to play hard to get. When done right, it has the potential to draw people in. The trick is to start with the sheer exposure effect, as described by psychologists. Several studies have found that frequent exposure to a stimulus increases our like for it, unless the initial reaction is negative. So if you want the method to work, don't be difficult to get at first. You'll come across as egotistical and cold. After you've formed a positive bond and engagement with them, then begin to see them less and less. This is based on the scarcity principle, which asserts that when something is rare or difficult to obtain, people appreciate and desire it more. 3. Clumsy is a good thing. Being clumsy can sometimes lead to love. It's true, and you've probably seen it in films where a girl drops books and a lovely guy arrives out of nowhere to help her. This psychological impact is known as the identifiable victim effect, and it relates to people's tendency to help when they see a specific identifiable person, the victim, alone in a difficult situation. Disclosing your flaws makes you appear more relatable and vulnerable to others. 2. Coffee dates instead of ice cream dates. Temperature is often linked to the personality of the person with whom one is conversing. According to studies, those who drink cold drinks are thought to have chilly personalities and vice versa. When they're holding a hot beverage, such as coffee, people regard the person they're with to be warm and kind. So, instead of ice cream cones, go on a warm date to a local cafe. 1. Go on adrenaline-boosting activity. According to research, when you conduct adrenaline-pumping activities with another person, such as riding go-karting or skydiving, you can enable them into liking your company. These activities, you see, release adrenaline, which gives people a natural high. They will identify the pleasant sensation they got from the natural high with the person with whom they shared it. As a result, they'll want to spend more time with the person who gave them the high. There you have it. As always, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe to see more content like this.